Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today you are going to be watching something completely different to what I'm normally doing. Typically I'm out on the bank trying to record some high quality videos for you guys to enjoy. But with you, the UK in lockdown at the moment due to coronavirus, that isn't actually going to be possible for uh, the foreseeable future. And I still wanted to produce some sort of content for you guys to watch and hopefully you will enjoy. Now, I've purchased Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. It's a game that uh, most fishermen have probably bought in the last sort of couple of months. Uh, just to try and pass some time and bring back some memories of being on the bank. So I thought I'd buy it, give it a go. It's on sale on Steam. Uh, and we're just going to get into the game and, and see what it's like. I'm actually going to answer a few questions as well that I get asked uh, quite commonly from, from some of you guys. So I thought to give the, the video a bit of context, I'll sort of answer some frequently asked questions that I get in, in DMs or in comments. So if you'd like to see more of these sort of videos, like playing this game or playing similar games, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. It's very much appreciated. And if it's something you guys will enjoy, maybe we're, we'll do a few more. But without further ado, let's jump into the game and uh, see what it's all about. So this is going to be my first time playing this, this game. I have played Eurofishing previously on the PlayStation 4. Um, so... It sh I'm, I'm imagining it's the same, it looks like it's the same developers, so hopefully you will have some sort of experience on it. Uh, I'm not going to go into the career mode, but if that's something that you guys might want to see me do, we can do a career mode series and, and sort of go through go through the game like that. Uh, but for now I think we're just going to go into quick play and, and see what we can do. Hopefully we can catch ourselves a 30 pounder. So we're starting off at Gigantica then. Now, I don't really know Gigantica that well, only from what I've seen watching the quarter guys on Thinking Tackle. I have heard of Alcatraz, so I think we're gonna we'll head there. I didn't check what the weather conditions are or, or anything like that. I think we're just gonna get into the game in, uh, and have a go. So, can I walk a bit faster? There we go. Claiming the peg allows you to fish for three rods at the same time. Claim the peg. Okay, so maybe that's what you're doing in the career mode then. You earn earn money to buy better tackles. So we're going to have to, by the looks of it, stick with what we've got, which is the bare minimum. £10 mono line. Can you go up a bit? No, that looks like the max we can do at the moment. Let's go for stick with the braided hair rigs. I think we'll go with that on all three rods. And it's got to be all out boily, hasn't it? So we've got all three rods out. So the first question that I get asked on a regular basis is what is my favourite cart rig? Now, I think rigs are quite a personal choice to the angler what do you feel confident in and I, I typically only use one or two diff, well two or three maybe different different types of rigs and depends on the situation depends what bait I want to use and obviously the makeup of the bottom of of the lake and my three favorite rigs are blowback rig which is probably what I use for the, the predominantly the majority of my fishing if I'm fishing a bottom bait I just, Got so much faith in it, caught so many carp on it over the years. And it's probably the rig uh, of, of choice if I can present a bottom rig, if uh, bottom bait rig. If it's if I'm fishing over sill or a bit of debris on the ground, then I'll probably uh, use a Ronnie rig. It's a rig again that I've used for the last two to three seasons, especially during the winter, in just a small little 12 mil pop up size six hook, and it's probably. You know, it's it's one of the top rigs. The hook hold on it is is so good, and I've caught so many carp on it again. And I'd say my third, sort of my next choice rig is probably the IQD. I don't think there's there's many better rigs out there for presenting a wafter. Uh, just a balanced hook bait. It's it's got all the properties that that you would want. The free movement of the of the bait just turns, and the hook holds as well. The hook just got to pair that with a curve shank. And you've got a very, very effective rig there. 
Now I'm not convinced that I've probably got the best setup here for be fi to be fishing a lake like Gigantica. So I think we are, we do have our work cut out, and I do think it might be worth changing these rigs. Well, I've changed location because I felt that we were a bit outgunned to fish Gigantica with the the small rods and the lack of terminal tackle to, to suit the surroundings. So I've decided to come on the Grand Union Canal. Now, once again, it's very silty. I've struggled to find any sort of clear spots that I would present a bottom paint rig on confidently. But all three rods, again, are fishing in silt, but I feel like the casting range is, is probably less of a factor here than fishing Gigantica, so I think we've probably got a better chance of picking up a fish here. Now I'm not an expert at the game, uh, I don't know, haven't had a play about with it really to, to know what I'm doing confidently, but sort of gone about it how I would typically fish or how I would approach this sort of water. Now you've got great features over there with a the canal boat, a bridge just there and Obviously one there in mid ch in sort of the, the middle of the channel. And we've got a bite already. The one under the bridge is going off. So we've got ourselves a fish. Now let's reel in. And it looks like we've got a bite on the offer rod as well. So we've gone from... Let's get the rod up. There we go. We've gone from having no bites to a double take within quick succession. Oh Christ, he's gone under the bridge, oh, slacking off a bit. Christ, my right hand rod, it was over by that canal boat and now it's absolutely ripped off. Under that bridge. Hopefully we can land this one and jump on that, after that second rod. Now, if it's anything like Euro fishing, it was a, a pretty hectic game when you found the fish. Like, oh, Matalina, yeah, cool, perfect. Not a bad start, guys. What's that? Seventeen pounds ten ounces, a new personal best on the game. Can't complain with that. First fish. Lever carp on the Bonoffi. Let's pop her back. And we've got right. Both of the upper rods are. <laughs> are on bites as well, so let's grab the one that was off first. He's ended up halfway down the canal. Get onto him, there we go. Cool, he's coming in to the near bank. I think we might lose this one. Apparently he's in the boat. There we go, he's ready for netting. And this is gonna be a personal best tent. That's a bloody big tench. Species Swifty. £12 3 ounce tench. That is a big tench. Uh, it looks like it was a named fish as well. I don't know if they've got... It must have boss fish like Euro, Euro fishing did. Let's jump on the first rod. Yeah, I think it must have named fish like they did on the, on the um, Euro fishing game. So I wonder if we've just hooked ourselves one of those. Oh, enough of leather. A bit smaller than the first one, though. Yeah, £13.7. So I've just got both the rods back out on their spots. I'm only going to stick with two rods. I think it's a bit hectic to get the third rod out there. So, but I thought I'd go through my second question, in which I get asked quite a lot, and that's what camera equipment do I use? And I've got a few different bits of equipment that I take when I'm I'm out doing a, a session but my main camera is the one I'm filming on now it's a Canon 700D I've got three different lenses for that for, for different sort of situations so I've got my kit lens which you get with it which is an 18 to 55 mil lens and that's what I do the majority of my talking on uh, and when I'm doing some wide angle shots as well that's what I predominantly use that for I've got a Canon 50 mil lens which is such a good lens the depth of field on it is is amazing that's what i do the majority of my sort of scenic shots on and my majority of the b-roll also have a 
a zoom lens so that's I believe it's 70 70 mil to 300 mil and it's a, a Tamron lens quite quite a nifty little lens quite a cheap sort of cheap glass but it's does the job for what I want it and that's getting those real close shots of, of like birds and, and wildlife um, out on the lake which is what I mainly use it for and in, in regards to anything else I use a, a small little action cam it's uh, like a GoPro but it's not a GoPro and that's what I wear on my chest when I'm hooked into a fish or if I want to get some more b-roll when I'm casting or any more action shots great little camera for that just to get those filler shots in um, for the videos but and I've also got a little compact camera I don't really use that anymore oh we got a bite we're in but used to use it a little bit for filming when I first started but the majority of it is through my my 700d because it's it's just the best quality and great for for still images as well if you want those cat shots it's a really good quality uh, image we got here it looks like a small little cart putting up a little bit of a scrap though Nice common, we haven't had a common yet. So that'd be a personal best con. Oh, it doesn't do it by species. Level three, ten pound ten ounce. Let's pop her back. So the next question I often get asked is, what's my favourite species of fish to fish for? Uh, let's just get out of that weed. So that'll do. And the answer to that, I ha as you probably know, I enjoy fishing for for different types of species predominantly in the winter I mainly go for pike but with a few carp sessions as well during spring and summer and autumn it's, it's mainly uh, my main focus is on carp but I do enjoy uh, fishing for smaller species as well uh, like chub, roach, perch, fish for um, very much a an all-round angler and very much enjoy catching different species but if there was one fish that I would probably focus on in that last carp I love catching carp it's where I, I wouldn't say I fell in love with fishing but catching my first carp it was one of those fish that, that fought the hardest and gives you that real thrill when you're when you're playing it in I believe I caught my first carp when I was nine uh, at Longleat uh, the bottom lake at Longleat now it's it's no longer open as a carp fishery or as a fishery altogether uh, but I caught a, a nine and a half pound carp and that put up one hell of a scrap and it was uh, it just gives you that thrill and I still get that now when I'm when you're catching carp they just give a, a really good account for themselves in a really hard fighting fish there we go cool that's a better common that's a better fish 14 pounds must be sort of the average size in this canal and the second rods away there we go enough 11 pounder must be an average size of a low double let's pop it back under the bridge so yeah, if I was to say what my favourite species to fish for, it definitely would be carp. That didn't go anywhere near I wanted it to go. Each carp that you catch is it's unique, it's got its own scale pattern. And it's what I've I predominantly fish for at the moment, so that would be that would be my, my favourite species to fish for currently. Oh, it's a bit hectic here. We're going from Gigantica where we couldn't get a bite and now we can't keep two rods in the water. Enough of personal bait. Personal best mirror cart, 13 pounds three ounces. You see I've got a lot of work to do on this game. My personal best being that. that do pop it down. So the next question I've been asked a few times is is where did I start fishing and, and what was my first fish like cool? And I got into fishing 
because of my dad. He's uh, a long time fisherman. He was fishing since he was a kid, and I think it was around my fifth, fifth or sixth birthday. He bought me a fishing a fishing kit from birthday, and we ended up going down the local river in catching. My first fish was a perch, uh, not nothing too special. I think it was around the pound mark. But we had a great day down on our local river. We landed two or three perch to to a pound and a half, a couple of trout, um, a few eels as well. When you eels catching eels was quite a, a common occurrence. But that's where I grew up fishing. It's for four or five years is I would always be on the river catching chub, perch, mainly perch to be honest. Um, a few pike had a couple of pike as well. We used to do a, in the winter go and do a bit of spinning pick up pike like that but that's that's pretty much where I grew up fishing and what in what my first fish first ever fish was was a perch and we just had a bite and something either snapped off or, or dropped it but if this is a you just clicked on the video to see if this is a game that might appeal to you I definitely recommend it it's definitely passes the time especially while we're in lockdown definitely got a lot of potential I'm interested to see what that career mode is like if, if you guys play it as well or um, have any experience on the game leave a comment let me know what you think of the game and whether you'd recommend it at all or definitely be interested to see if you guys are playing it as well during this time and uh, enjoy the game this looks like a bit of a bigger fish than the ones we've landed so far it's definitely putting up a scrap setting up the uh, Halfway up the canal, managed to turn him. Well, I thought it looked bigger. Not a bad fish, enough of leather. 15 pounds. Well, on that note, I think we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, leave a comment if you guys are playing it as well or are interested in playing it and what you think of the game. It's definitely one of those that's going to pass the time, especially during lockdown. And I definitely didn't think I was going to be bringing you some sort of video game content on this channel. Um, but if it is something that you've enjoyed and you would like to see more of on, on the channel for fishing simulators or, or any other fishing games that you guys can recommend, leave a, like I said, leave a comment and I'll definitely take a look at those. But if you would like to see it, just let me know, give it a like and maybe we'll go through the career on the game. I don't have a clue what the career consists of, but maybe we'll look at doing that and making it into sort of a mini series where we release maybe uh, a five to ten minute video of, of a bit of gameplay and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and we can answer them as well while i'm playing so thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you later